What's going on guys? Welcome back to Reverse Engineering. Before you begin watching this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also like this video. And with that in mind, let's get to wrapping. Here is the color that we are wrapping the car in. It's a matte blue metallic. It's made by 3M. And uh, we are also going to be posting the link down in the description below. So in case you guys are interested in the same color we got. Before we begin the wrap process, we still have to clean the car. For example, right here, we got all this dust that went runny here when we sanded the primer. We still have to clean the inside of the car, remove all of these rags. We had them here when we welded and uh, did the bundle work on the car. Once we clean this up, we can start finally wrapping, but we still have to work here on the roof. We have to clay bar it. We don't have to clay bar any, any of the other parts on the car except the roof. The only downside in wrapping a car in this kind of weather, which is a, a little bit cold for us right here where we live. What temperature is it, John? Maybe like 39s or something like that. Under 35. Yeah. It needs to be at least, I don't know, room temperature, maybe 70 degrees. And luckily for us, we got here a garage heater. Turn this on and heat this garage up and get this room to NBA temperature so we can start wrapping it. Let's start by removing all these clots from the car and then the next step is we'll start washing the car. We'll wash it here inside the garage. Man, those recovery seats, they look nice. Uh, we got the clots out of the car, but somehow we still managed to dirty up the inside and uh, I guess we have to clean it up again. It's not too big of a deal, it's just a, a little bit of dust from when we've sanded the bundle. We are using steam to clean here in the recess area of the door. This steamer makes our life a lot easier when cleaning. It just softens up all that greedy dirt uh, here by the door here and uh, whatever we clean it up with and it just comes right off. We are done with the washing process of the car. We got it ready right now for vinyl. Uh, next step right now is to get the vinyl laid on the car, start cutting off the pieces that we need. And uh, after we're done with that, we'll still have to wipe it down with 70% isopropyl alcohol to make sure we have a good clean panels. This is the piece for the rocker panel. We actually got it from the doors, which was pretty much extra. And this is what you do when you cut it. You wanna save up. We have cut all the pieces here for this passenger side. Now we are going to remove all of them. 
well only the quarter panel piece because we removed the pieces from the doors and we have to apply necklace tape here around the quarter panel areas. We finished cutting the vinyl for the passenger side. We also cut it for the driver's side. And now we'll begin wrapping the car, starting with the roof. These are all the rolls that we actually cut. Uh, we marked them so we know which one, which goes where and what's what. This is what happens when it's too cold outside, the film isn't flexible. And uh, I don't know what happened, but we forgot to turn on the heater. It's actually not that cold, but I guess it's just cold enough for this film not to be pliable. Since the film broke right here in the back because it was too cold, we're not going to throw it away and we're actually going to take it and uh, wrap this passenger door with it. This is actually the biggest wrap that we've ever used on a door. This is where it ripped up on the roof. Also right here, that's the corner and over there on that that's side. And it's, it's not that cold in here in the garage. It's really warm. It's kind of a t-shirt temperature, but I'm still wearing a jacket. Feeling like paper, man. We are almost done wrapping this passenger door. I do love the color. From different angles, the color changes. It goes from bluish to kind of purplish. And uh, I cannot wait to see this in the light outside and see how it looks once it's fully done. I don't know if you see it, but there's a little bit of purple. Does the camera catch it? I don't, think I it's don't know. It. Here is the sunroof area, it's uh, all completed. The way we've done it is we've tucked it under here, it has a lip, we've, we've tucked it under and it's never gonna come out. It looks really good, phenomenal. So in case you guys been wondering how we applied the knifeless tape, John come closer and zoom in on these recess areas. 
Um, it's pretty much it was tucked in behind the door. Lower part of the trunk is done. Now we have to reapply that knifeless tape here around this edge, overlap it a little bit so we can wrap this upper side. Once that's done, we can move on the passenger side and uh, wrap the quarter panel on that side and that rear door. And uh, maybe even the bumper here in the back. We'll see how uh, we are on time and uh, if it's hot enough here in the garage. <laughs> trunk is done this is where we've done the inlay it's not even visible same over here on this side it goes all the way to this side here it looks fabulous i do like the color from different angles the color kind of bounces it's kind of purplish bluish it looks really good also I'll finish this stop here and now it's time to start working right here on this quarter panel get this one done and out of the way after we finish this one we can start working on this door rear bumper and then the only thing that's left is the front end which are the fenders the hood and the bumper which are really easy to do this is the bumper we got from the parts car we have to detach the lower piece from the upper one in order for us to get this thing out, the actual thing in the middle, the diffuser, grill, whatever you call it, yeah, diffuser, whatever you call it. We also have to clay bar the entire bumper to make sure we remove all any imperfections, dirt, whatever it's in the paint, to make sure we have a smooth finish, just like that one right here. So we installed the hood. Sam and I were gonna start wrapping that. Jacob and John are in the back going to do the work on the rear bumper while we do the front stuff.
Here is an update on the car. We're almost done with it. We still have a, a couple of pieces to get done. The wrap came absolutely beautiful. It looks stunning. We've got here the rear bumper. That one's done. The roof, the back. We still have to do that passenger door over there on the passenger side. Fenders and the front bumper. And after that, we're done. But with that, we'll catch you guys in the morning because it's getting late on us. Peace out. In case you guys are curious on how the corners came out, here is one for the hood. Came out absolutely sharp. Here's the other one for the pillar. Sharp as well. All the corners that we've done, they're all sharp. No problems, no lifting. Looks amazing. Cannot wait to finish this car. And uh, you guys know what we do. We are unique. This is not the only color that we're doing on this car. We're actually going to do a design. And so you guys have to stay tuned for that and see what it is. I bet you guys are not gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be super sick. We got more material. This showed up in the mail today. We got it because this piece when we wrapped the roof broke on us and we had to get more. And uh, since we have it now, we can start completing the entire car. We can start wrapping the fenders, the rocker panels, and the car will be 100% complete. But that's not all. In the next episode, we are actually going to do a design on this car and you do not wanna miss that. So keep an eye out for that one. So here where we live, it's about 37 degrees. And I wanna give you guys a comparison in between 3M and Avery on how pliable they are. Just to show you guys why the 3M vinyl broke on us when we worked on the roof. So here goes the 3M one. Not very pliable. It, it needs a uh, warmer atmosphere, warmer weather. So if I pull really hard on this and I don't heat it, it's gonna break. See, just like that. That's how the roof broke on us. And now let me show you the Avery one. If you guys ever want to start wrapping, you want to start with Avery. It's much more pliable and a lot easier to work with. So here it goes. See how pliable that one is? Look at it. And look at the 3M one. The, 3, the 3M one didn't even stretch. So it's a lot harder to work with the 3M if it's really cold outside. If it's below 70 degrees, it's not going to be as pliable as Avery. There you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoy that. Oh man, you really gotta pull hard on this one to break it. Let me pull back on the 3M again. It's gonna snap again, watch. There you go, there you have it. So if you guys ever wanna start wrapping, start with Avery. I wanted to make another point, guys. The reason we bought this 3M collar is because we couldn't find it in Avery. So only 3M makes this shade of blue that we wanted to wrap this car in. I'm not saying this to bash 3M or anything. I do like their product. I'm still gonna use it in the future, but you just need a warmer uh, environment for it to work with 3M. I also wanted to point something more out. The vinyl we used for this car, like I said, it was 3M, but it's 1080. That's not that pliable, but 3M came out with this new product, which is 2080, which is extremely pliable. It's extremely pliable. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing as Avery vinyl, but it's just a little bit cold right now in the garage and that's why it's not it's not stretching that much. But this one you cannot even stretch. So I show us with that one. I already showed it, but let's do it again. So you can see the difference between this one, the 1080 and the 2080. Here's the 1080. It does not stretch. It's it's not pliable whatsoever, so you guys want to keep that in mind if whenever you want to buy vinyl, go with the 2080. That's their new redesigned product by 3M. We have washed clay bar the skirts and uh, now it's time for us to start wrapping them we are going to be wrapping all the way to this inside body line that it has right here all the way to that side and on the back here we're going to be wrapping all the way to this line that's been made by the factory you don't have to we don't have to wrap it all the way to the edge here because this is under the car it's not even visible and same thing on the other side these two are ready for wrap and also that lower part of the rear bumper is ready for wrap 
let's get it done because we're almost done. Hey guys, welcome back to the future, also known as the next day. We're here with the front bumper on this car. We actually went ahead and we bought an RS bumper for the car. We want to try something unique, something different. Uh, another one, as you saw, we wrapped an ST bumper, but now it's time to wrap this one for it. Plus we got a really good price on it and we said, why not? And it looks a lot meaner and it goes really well with the theme that we're doing here with the wrap. And I cannot wait to see the final product. It's gonna look sick. Oh yeah. So sick, yeah. Okay, let's start removing those grills and all those plastic pieces so we can start doing the inlays that we need on this bumper and then wrap it, baby. Here in some of these areas, we got honeycomb mesh. I personally think it looks super good. Comment down below what you guys think of it. And uh, I also wanted to give you guys the price that we paid for this bumper. How much did we pay for it, Sam? 500 bucks. 500? With everything on it. Even? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So we came, we paid 500 bucks for it with all the grills, fog lights and all that good stuff. This grill itself, it's about 300 bucks easily. Yeah, yeah, so we got a really good deal on it. Coming out. It's already coming out. Good thing we didn't drop it to uh, give it a few scratches. Yeah, well, it came out pretty easy actually. Yeah, it had just a couple of clips on the back. We pried it open to the back and we yeah. got it out. This thing looks like a beauty. Let's mount this bumper on, see if it looks. Well, not just for the looks, you gotta wrap it on the car. We don't have the fenders yet to see kind of how it looks, but. We'll get there. I wish we had the fenders on just to see how it looks right now. You mm -hmm. want some of them bolts? Yeah. How many do you want? Two of them. Just two to mount them. it on. Took a break right now to actually take some pictures of the progress we've made. Bumper looks really good. I do like this color blue. I gotta be honest, I do like the bumper the way it looks right now with no grills. What do you think, Sam? It kinda looks a lot, I don't know, it looks futuristic in some way. Yeah, it looks super sick in my opinion. Alright, let's get it done. What do you let's think finish we it. the front grill? I like it blue. It's too bluish. After Sam's gonna finish right there on his side, we're actually gonna take the bumper off the car and uh, place it on a stand because it's a lot easier to cut this opening out here and that one and work on the corners. It's finally time to place this on the stand for us because it's actually hard to just keep on sitting down on a small chair. This is how we do it here at Reverse Engineered. We're going the extra mile for you guys to give it the perfect shot. We've placed that small tripod onto three screws and it's holding the phone so I can film and give it that perfect shot There you guys have it, the front bumper is completely wrapped. We still have to attach those lower grills. This one here in the middle, we're going to be wrapping it gloss black. And uh, the one on the bottom, we're going to be leaving it the way it is. And it looks super nice. I cannot wait to see how it's gonna look with all those grills on. I don't know if the camera does any justice on the, how the color looks, but in person it looks 
fantastic here it is guys and i've it on the car it looks absolutely stunning i do love the color the way the shades and the light bounces off of it we are almost done with it we still have a couple of panels to wrap and after that we are completely done 100 percent We have decided to wrap the last piece of the car in the house because it's nice and cozy and the, obviously the garage isn't any by any means uh, warm. And so this is the piece we are going to wrap. It's the center piece for the bumper. We are going to wrap it in a satin black. We are going to wrap over this inscription that we put here on this center piece, which is the reverse engineered our channel. And we are going to emboss it into this center piece. I bet it's gonna look nice. So we finally finished mounting on all the bumper grills and all the brackets and everything, even behind the bumper. One last step before we install the bumper, we do have to remove this because it's, this is from uh, the ST. ST bumper. This is lower bumper cover. And you have to replace it with this RS1 because for some reason it does not fit. It's a lot different than a ST. If you look closely here, this is flat and then this other one at the bottom it does have this extra piece on top of it yeah different design yeah so we can chop it off but we can just change the whole thing yeah you know just just to make it more uh more safe you don't wanna you don't want any weird air or yeah i mean we can even leave it without it but it's a lot better to have it on since yeah. it came with the bumper when we bought the bumper it came with the bumper Alright guys, we are ending this episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying and liking what we are doing here with this car. Make sure you comment down below your opinions of what we're doing here. Also subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, follow us on Instagram at reverseengineered1. Keep an eye out for the next episode in which we are doing the design on the vehicle. That's going to be super fun and you guys do not want to miss that. With that in mind, we'll see you next time.